I ain't looking for love. I'm tired. But sometimes I get freaky too. But see, the master said you can't talk like that when you, because he might get that guy that holds that whip. You remember? You watch Roots? Remember that guy that beat them slaves? He wasn't no white man. He was black as me and you. They call him the cracker. See, we got this whole thing we call white people cracker. No, they're not the cracker. Cracker was looking just like me. Cracker was Mandingo. Come out there with all the muscles with that whip in his hand. You know you messed up with master. So I don't want cracker coming at me tonight. And I want to respect you guys in the audience. So I won't cuss. Cuss. So tonight I'm going to use an acronym for a cuss. Okay, I got to beat um, Irene MTK at our own game. She said, William, your stuff is a little too hard. You can't do that. I love it. But I know she says, right, the audience. So let me, let me use an acronym. I won't cuss. Now, I had to learn how to love a woman. I had to learn that women are not just objects of sex. When that woman came over for dinner, I had to learn how to cook her dinner, romance her, hold her hand, and abruptly take her home once the dinner was <laughs> Because she was waiting for me to say, ah, yeah, let's get in the bed, baby. No. I had to learn to be patient. I had to learn to be a patient lover. So I'm going to use an acronym for feeding this woman. She came over to the place I had to feed her unhindered, caressing kisses. Let me say that again. Feeding her unhindered, caressing kisses. Now you take the first four, the first letters of each one of those words, and it's F dot U dot C dot K. But I'm not going to curse tonight. <laughs> If I feed you, if I feed you, <laughs> if I feed you, quench will be your appetite. A three-course meal with a glass of wine should suffice. The main entree feeds your heart. It lures you in with a sensual, erotic aroma, <laughs> rendering you helpless to my touch, yearning for my kiss over oh, a tasty, tasty dish. The second serving comes with a helping heaping of my mental wit. I will feed you facts and figures that you may have. A little starch and some salad is a necessary mix. Dessert is accompanied by a Jeffrey Osborne love ballad, adding further pleasure to your erotically enhanced palate. Once your appetite has been sated, our minds and souls made it. If I feed you, I must fuck you. I must fuck you with the word fuck being an acronym for feeding you unhindered, caressing kisses. So woman, dig this. If I feed you, I must fuck you with my heart, with my voice, with my mind. Fuck you hard, yet ever so kind. Fuck you from the front and then fuck you from behind. Yeah, I said it, rewind. Fuck you from the front and then fuck you from behind. If I feed you, I must fuck you. I must fuck you. I must fuck you. And I definitely must fuck you. Feed your stomach then fuck with your mind. <laughs> now, now, before I get off the stage, I'm going to read you something. Because I never read. I always stand up on stage to try to memorize and be kicking myself in the tail because I'm too old to memorize. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to read this time. And do I have my glasses? Oh, yes, because brother old now. Brother <laughs> Yeah, I know you're watching the Trayvon Martin, the George Zimmerman trial. Yeah. Now, I'm not, gonna I'm not taking any side because I know how the criminal justice system works. You never know. So let me um, but give a tribute. Excuse me? They're going to let him go. Maybe so, but I'm not going to get political tonight. Like, but listen, I think if George Zimmerman was a poet, Trayvon Martin would still be alive today. Because poetry could have saved Trayvon Martin's life. Poetry would have given George Zimmerman the word when the 911 operator asked, Don't you follow that black boy you heard? Poetry would have made George Zimmerman's mind and heart and soul bigger. Poetry would have told George that every black man you see is not a nigga. Poetry would have told George to put that gun down instead of following Trayvon North into the right, causing a life and death fight. A single gunshot taking Trayvon Martin's life. Poetry was silenced that night. But like Jesus on the third day, poetry did rise. For on that day, the world was told that Trayvon Martin had died. Parents Sabrina Fulton and Tracy Martin cried, why, why, why did our son have to die? Poetry told Sabrina and Tracy why Martin, Malcolm, and John died. Poetry explained that Trayvon's death may even be bigger. For one day, it may stop one man from calling another man a nigger. Poetry could have saved Trayvon Martin's life. Now, I need y'all to stand with me like this. Poetry could have saved Trayvon Martin's life. Poetry could have saved Trayvon Martin's life. Poetry could have saved Trayvon Martin's life. 
poetry to the same trademark. Mm -hmm. uh, God bless her soul. I'm, I'm a big Nina Simone fan. I love the way she sings. I love the, how she sings about her blackness, her color, unashamedly, unashamedly. She put a voice to my ears. She put a song to my heart. Because as a young man, when I listened to her songs, I became emboldened. I became strong. I became a man. From a woman's words, made me a man. Not my mother. Nina Simone. Now I'm gonna put on my old man glasses. I'm trying to look cute for the camera, but that's all right. And I, now she does a thing called Four Women, right? Nina Simone yes. does four women. Now this is a poor man's attempt at four men. And this is not a, 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 a reading of empowerment. This was a reading of four men's failures in their life. Whereas four women was about their empowerment as a woman. This is about the failures of four men, four black men. All right, let me, let me, let me read this because I gotta get off the stage now. My skin is mulatto, like brown liquor in a bottle. My father white, my black mother his illegitimate wife. Drug addicted I steal all my life. Three strikes now in jail for life. What do they call me? My name is Corey. My hair is nappy. My life unhappy. My skin is blotched. HIV infects me. All my life I lived a lie on the outside a man but a woman inside. Doctor said I could make it but my body said he lied. What do they call me? Oh, my name is Antoine. My arms are strong. My legs were long. My hands were so big could make a drumstick look like a twig. In basketball, I made it big, but cocaine did me in before my NBA career could even begin. What do they call me? They call me Rest in Peace Land. Oh, my teeth is white, pearly bright. I smiles all day and night for Master Tom's delight. I picked the cotton, my wife forgotten. She bears Master Tom's children. Still, I smile, though I want to kill him, I want to kill him, I want to kill him. I want to kill the first mother I see. What do they call me? What do they call me? Corey. What do they call me? Antoine. What do they call me? Rest in peace, Lynn Myers. What do they call me? They call me nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to wrap this up. And I'm going to tell you, mirrors can lie. Mirrors tell lies. We've been giving mirrors our whole life to say, this is who you are, black man. Black woman, this is who you are. Look at you. Sometimes those mirrors lie. I want to give you, don't give me no mirrors. I am black. My skin is black. My mind, heart, and soul is black. I am slave black. Sambo black. Uncle Tom black. Chain gang, prison, ghetto black. Don't give me no mirror. I am the blues, jazz, gospel, R&B, and rap black. I am the 1970s black exploitation black. I'm the Wendy's Burger Flipper, the Dwayne Reed store manager, businessman, corporate CEO, president of the United States Black. Don't give me no mirror. I am the broken hearted who've lost many a love to that mulatto skin Romeo. I am that stereotype black man, baby, I'm going to buy a loaf of bread and never coming back home black. What's a nigga to do black? <laughs> Don't give me no mirror. I'm strong on the outside, yet I cry on the inside black. I cry because I want to be free. Free of the negative connotations that is painted black upon me. You see, I love my black. I love me. I don't need no mirror to reflect who I am. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the greatest of them all? You are a black man. You are the greatest of them all. So I say to you and I say it loud. I am black and I am proud. Don't give me no mirror. I know who I am. Wanting and touching. I don't get it. Not with this hand, this is a good hand. <laughs>